Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about disconnecting sway bars and more specifically electronic disconnecting sway bars. Now if you don't know how anti-roll bars work or anti-sway bars work, I have a separate video explaining that. Um, in this video we're simply going to be talking about the mechanism which allows it to disconnect and then why you may want to do this. So here we're looking at a electronic disconnecting sway bar. Uh, you've got the sway bar itself, you've got the disconnect portion, and then you've got the electric motor there, uh, which is going to actuate that disconnecting. And so looking inside of this here, kind of an exploded view of what's going on, we've got these uh, two portions of the sway bar. Each of these have essentially what is a gear on the end of them, um, and then you have this collar in the center uh, which has an internal spline. So this works a lot like a manual transmission actually, uh, which is kind of cool how they relate. Uh, you've got this shift fork here, and your electronic uh, motor right here, and so that motor is going to be your actuator which pushes this shift fork back and forth. You've got a return spring here, so normally uh, the sway bar is going to be fully connected. And then when you push the button to disconnect, what's going to happen is this electric motor here is going to push this shift fork against this return spring. That's going to force this collar, which is generally going to be over both of these two gears holding them together so they both rotate together. As you can see, it's wide enough. This is just an exploded view, so they'll actually be touching uh, nearly in this. And so then this is going to push back over this collar right here. The collar will push back over this gear and then it will no longer be connected to this portion of the anti-roll bar and so those two uh, portions of the roll bar are free to move about. They won't move together. Now an interesting thing to note is how this goes back together uh, once you want to reconnect the sway bar. So if you disconnect and then they move all about, you obviously want to make sure that when they reconnect they're at the same plane and back to where you started. You don't want to have this like natural torque uh, that's always occurring on that roll bar. You want to make sure that they're positioned uh, accordingly. And so you will have a position sensor in here that will, you know, uh, it won't allow you to reconnect, to re-engage that sway bar unless the position is correct. And also you can rely on a mechanical setup. This collar, if you look at the internal spline, you'll have a unique spline so that it can only go in one way so that it'll only reconnect uh, if you have these perfectly parallel with each other uh, so you're not creating that offset with the anti-roll bar. So when would you want to have that roll bar engaged? Well, basically you want the roll bar engaged for stability, especially for high speed stability, and this is going to prevent body roll. Where this comes in handy is when you're off-road and you need more articulation of your axle. So when you disengage it, uh, you, won't, you will have you know, essentially a softer suspension, and so that's gonna allow you to have uh, more articulation from the front to the left side, uh, from your left wheel to your right wheel. And so you'll have, you know, you'll be able to go over larger obstacles, uh, things like that. The technical way that this is described is that it increases its ramp travel index. And so the RTI is a ratio of the distance which you travel up a ramp, traditionally 20 degree ramp, uh, before that rear wheel lifts up in the air, before any wheel lifts up in the air. And typically it's going to be the wheel behind the wheel which is going up the ramp. So as it's going up the ramp, you're taking the ratio, the distance that it travels up that ramp, divided by the vehicle's wheelbase, multiplied by a thousand. This is just a way of measuring articulation. And so on the vehicle which we're showing here, this has a disconnecting sway bar. And by disconnecting that sway bar, you can increase its ramp travel index, from 423 with it fully engaged to 510 with the sway bar disconnected. Uh, so a significant change in how much articulation is going to allow by disconnecting that sway bar. So thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.